So Eric, talk to me. How how does HPE enable enterprises to take advantage of their existing storage landscape to better manage VMs and VM storage? So before we talk about storage power space management, just want to talk about some of the challenges with traditional storage and how we apply the capabilities of the array uh, at, to the, the virtual machine. So with traditional storage here, our, our storage array is going to advertise or, or we're going to take certain features within the array like replication, dedupe, compression, QoS. We apply this at the LUN level where these VMs are all within that LUN. Um, we can't apply these capabilities directly to the individual virtual machines. So that's just a limitation of VMFS, and that's why VMware created VVOL. So with VVOL, what we can do, we don't have LUNs anymore. The LUNs go away, and essentially now all my array capabilities, I can apply to individual virtual machines. You know, one by one, or if I want to replicate multiple VMs, I could do that, apply this error, or however I want to do it. I can now apply those at the VM level. So how that looks like in storage policy space management then is my, my storage array here is going to and advertise the capabilities that it's capable of. Let's put three down here. Let's just put like, we're gonna do compression, and we're gonna do dedupe, and we're gonna do replication. And then what we're gonna do then now is advertise those capabilities up and that. So we're gonna up advertise these up into, and then now that the vSphere is aware of what those things are capable of, we can go into vSphere and we can create storage policies. So I have a policy here that has this capability in it. I have a policy here that has this capability in it. Maybe I want this one over here as well. And now that I have these policies built out in vSphere, I can then assign those to my, my virtual machines. Like that. And then I'll assign this policy to another VM. And then what happens at that point is storage policy-based management ensures compliance. So on the storage array itself, when I um, create a VM, Sign into a storage policy, essentially everything that the Red Array is capable of that's within that policy is going to apply directly to those individual virtual machines. I'm no longer going to be doing this at the LUN level and that, which is less efficient. Maybe I don't want to replicate all the VMs at that LUN or do dedupe on all the VMs. With policy space management, I could do those via policies and apply those to individual virtual machines. That's what VVAL is all about, is the VM level granularity where I can now do things at the VM level. The array has full visibility to, um, to the virtual machine because VMs are written natively to the storage array where over here with LUNs, we never were able to see inside a LUN. So we couldn't do things at the VM level. And that's what VWAL is all about.